Shadow Talents, Grey Wardens, and the Joining Ritual. To become a Grey Warden, one must undergo a ritual called the Joining. The Wardens have signed treaties with many countries for aid, which vary between equipment, supplies, armies, gold, etc. In times of blight, the Wardens believe these treaties allow them to take what they need, when they need, including recruits. Though usually, when blights and their dangers are fresh, people will volunteer more than not. So far, the Wardens have treaties with the Dwarves of Orzammar, the Dalish, and the Circle of Magi, as far as we know. Wardens are expected to do their duty when needed, but not expected to completely abandon the lives they had before their joining. They are encouraged to put worldly ties to good use. Noble titles and merchants' wealths can often accomplish what weapons cannot. Grey Wardens can also marry, have romantic relationships, retain previous relationships if they want. The joining is done to test a recruit's physical constitution and spiritual fortitude. Few, however, survive, and those who do are forever connected to the Darkspawn and forever tainted. The details of the ritual are kept secret due to its nature. Recruits drink from a silver chalice that contain a mix of sourpuss, apricot brandy, and black sambuca. Wait, no, that's Darkspawn blood. Sorry. That contains a mix of darkspawn blood, the, the real thing, not my drink, and often a single drop of blood of an arch demon, as well as lyrium and rare herbs magically prepared to make the blood at least possible to consume. Yeah, if it tasted like my drink, they'd be getting drunk on it every night. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. Only those with a decent chance of surviving the ritual are made recruits. As a test, recruits are sent to retrieve darkspawn blood to use in the ritual. Oh, I'll take this shot. Usually they are accompanied by an experienced Grey Warden. Becoming a Grey Warden requires a dose of Darkspawn corruption. Not dark side corruption. Potent enough to have immediate effect. Otherwise, one could turn into a ghoul. The Darkspawn corruption wrenches at the very core of a recruit's identity, and then they forever have a sense of wrongness. Most die on the spot. Many believe that if one has doubts about the ritual or their commitment, the joining will fail. Wardens honor the fallen for their sacrifice. I hope so. Recruits are then given formal rank within the order, and the fallen failed recruits' names recorded in the archives at Wasthopped. When a recruit is told about the joining and its ramifications, they must continue with the ritual until the end. Those who refuse are killed in order to preserve the secrecy. I am not okay with this. Just saying. The Grey Wardens are thus linked to the Darkspawn hive mind, and thus they can detect the presence of Darkspawn, and they become immune to further corruption by the Blight. However, they suffer from nightmares, which are sometimes prophetic. They have decreased fertility and shortened lifespans, usually 30 years more after the joining before the taint consumes them. Many wardens apparently also experience ravenous hunger for a time after the ritual and thus become more robust. The Darkspawn can also sense the Grey Wardens. It's because they're linked. Most Grey Wardens learn how to block most dreams. Some older Wardens can understand and communicate with arch demons and Darkspawn. Telepathy. In truth, the joining does not make one immune to the Blight sickness. It merely slows it down. <laughs> 
<laughs> With the progression of age, the taint spreads, and when advanced enough, the wardens begin to hear the call of the old gods, and they slowly begin to transform into ghouls. Some feel the compulsion to join the darkspawn horde. The afflicted wardens spend their final days in the deep roads to seek out an honorable death as part of their calling. And all about the calling in the next video. Let me know what your thoughts in the comments below. Like this video if you like it, subscribe to be Jimmy Approved, and I'll see you all soon. Masaranas. If you're new here and you like my content, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications. Like it if you like it, for the like it if you like it dance. You can also follow my website, BinkyProductions.com, where I post everything from all my channels. Exclusive! If you want to support me, consider buying my book, Stardust Destiny's One, Variant Facing, Magic, Dragons, Fantasy, all relevant links below. Thank you so much for your time. Your continued viewership is very much appreciated. Maseranas.